This is my life. It's not going to be in People magazine or anything, but you know what? I got it good. It seemed like for so long, TV had gotten away from really, you know, setting sitcoms and setting comedies in the middle of the country. For us living here in California, we missed the Midwest, and we really felt like their stories deserve to be told. And so it was a celebration to us. It was our love letter to the Midwest. The title of the middle to us means middle age, middle class, middle of the country. You have to go in and show the network sort of the general look that you're going for. A lot of it was just sort of going in and talking about funny things that had happened to us. One of the things was um, this passport picture, if you want to talk about that. In the pilot, when Frank is horrified when her driver's license picture is terrible, it came from something that happened to me. And I got my new passport. I said to Deanne, look at this, because it's awful. Like, something is different. It's in the eyes. Oh, I know what's missing. It's hope. It's we held up the two pictures. And, and they, they looked, looked that exactly the same, except she just sort of looked dull, yeah, like, well, and lifeless in the second one. And it was like, just, it embodied all that had happened to me in the last 13 years. And so that was part of our pitch. You work, of course, with your wardrobe people and your set art people and all that, and your art director, all that. March into the network with these boards. When you have this board with apple pie and deep, rich colors and, um, you know, games piled up in a shelf and all the things that are there, they see it. And that they know that they're going to get the show that they asked for. The casting of the show is, we feel so lucky. I mean, I'm sure everyone says it, but we have the dreamiest, most wonderful cast in the world. They're funny, they're delightful to be around. Many of them are native Midwesterners, coincidentally. When you're casting the middle, we're looking for people who look like they could be your next door neighbor wherever you're at. But I think what works on the middle is that you see a reflection of the people you know and the people you grew up with in your family and your life. And I think the middle really represents that. I'd like to give my jersey to a special lady who might not know just how special she is. Sophie, I think you're really hot. Keep smiling. You can cry in the car. Patty Heaton was leaving another show, and someone at the network said, are you interested in Patty Heaton? Which is like saying, are you interested in God coming <laughs> down? So we were like, oh my God, yes. Yeah. So we got the process of trying to hook up with, with Patty and get her interested, and she read the script, and we met, and, and she was fantastic. And having Patricia Heaton attached to the project made it very desirable for really good actors. The star of a show sets the tone. There is always a thing of, you know, we're in this together, you know, let's, let's work on it together. You're gonna think of an awful punishment for Axel. An awful one. I will. I will. I'm not as brilliant as you, but I will come up with something. This is totally unfair! Genius. Oh yeah, you were a mistake. It's funny, because you're not fat, but that skirt sure makes you look fat. <laughs> Who told you Scrappy went to a farm? He's not on a farm, he's dead. Neil, his name came up from Scrubs, and we looked at a long list of people very early on. Because he was the one on the list yeah. that we went, oh my god, when's he coming in? When's yeah. he coming? We gotta make sure he's coming in, because we just sort of felt like he's, he's it. He's right for the role. I like Mike Heck. I think I've known guys like him. He's not all that much different from me. But I think guys like Mike make a fool of themselves less often than guys like me do. Yeah? Uh, hi, I'm uh, Mike Heck down, down the street. I want to talk to you about your boys. What about them? Do you want to maybe put something on? I can wait. It's a little bit chilly. He's such a great actor, such a learned actor. Right. And Patty is too. And the two of them really have a great respect for for that process and for the job they do and the jobs that everybody else does. I don't know how fast I can go when I'm not holding a heavy yearbook. It's the wrong one. Yeah. Really, oh, my God. Oh, I love country. That's okay. No. From where? Frankie and Mike represent real marriage, and I think they represent the yin and yang of men and women. Both of them have their own ways of doing things that don't always work. You say the word, and we will back off. What is the word? I'll say it. I'll say it right now. There's no word. We're not backing off. Birthdays are lame. TV is lame. Food is lame. Axel Heck is the embodiment of every teen boy that moms <laughs> find themselves with when they think it's a boy and it's so little and cute and it grows into an Axel at one point or another. <laughs>